I just want to know the logic behind how the shutdown is working. Sir. Uh, yeah, so logic is very simple. So remember the IC which you used in your inverter, right? Yes, IR2110. Yes, so if you see the data sheet, it has one high side driver and one low side yes, driver. And to turn on the high side MOSFET, the high side driver has a bootstrap yes, capacitor to yes, create that floating voltage yes, to turn on of the high side uh, MOSFET. So if you see here, this circuit, uh, could be the internal structure of that particular small IC. So here also we have two driver stage, one is the high side here and here is the low side. And if you see closely on the uh, high side, we have this, this is our boot diode, right? Mm -hmm. And this is our boot capacitor. So which is creating the floating voltage for the high side MOSFET. And which you are seeing here in the, in the form of green trace. Mm -hmm. So green trace is our high side PWM, and the complementary yellow one is the low side and if I overlap this, these two, if I overlap these two and let me zoom on to the time scale, this is our dead time, see yes. and this dead time you can adjust by adjusting the trim pot setting here, yes. right, that you can do. Now, our this trace 2 or the yellow tra uh, blue trace which you are seeing, mm -hmm. it's uh, at logic 0. Okay. So we have the PWM. Now this gate driver has a shutdown feature which works when you give logic high. So whenever you give logic high or 5 volt uh, signal, this PWM will stop. And why you will use this? In case of implementing some protection aspect in your inverter circuit. Let's say you. Uh, you have this MOSFET here, right? Mm -hmm. Or you have uh, this th heat sink here. So you can mount a thermocouple here and monitor the temperature rise of the MOSFET. Or uh, you can mount the thermocouple directly on the MOSFET body di or directly on the heat sink or anywhere on the uh, PCB, right? So if the, your uh, um, circuit is heating up, that thermocouple can generate the shutdown signal to turn off the PWM pulses and that will stop the switching of your inverter and that will prevent the thermal breakdown of the MOSFET. So right now our thermal shutdown is disabled and now I have arranged this uh, function generator to give the shutdown signal. So if you turn on, just try to turn on, right and let me zoom in into the time signal. And let me also adjust the trigger. So, okay. So, when we give the trigger signal, so here this function generator is generating uh, a very low frequency pulse, right, yes, of 5 volt magnitude. So here, this is our shutdown signal. So whenever it is 5 volt, you will see PWM is disabled. And whenever the shutdown goes to zero, right then we have PWM enabled again. So we can use this shutdown signal to uh, disable our uh, gate driver circuit and that will help you protect your circuit, right? Yes. Let's say you want to monitor the excessive temperature of MOSFET or some other part of the circuit. Yes. So that's how it works. Okay. Thank you sir. Okay. I know it's